Collective motion of animals is one of the most fascinating phenomena observed in nature. Social fish like to live and swim together to find food, save energy during swimming, and protect themselves against predators. As we shall see, they never collide, even in a panic. This is not the case for humans or phytoplankton, for example. As we can see, during an evacuation, a clogging effect takes place, like beads flowing through an opening or grains in a silo, for example. Friction between individuals, pedestrians, grains, or algae blocks the passage, creating a stable arch. The flow out of the opening is no longer continuous, but rather intermittent, like an avalanche. When someone manages to get out, the local stress is reduced to stabilize the arch. A space is filled up with less friction, and others can pass through before being blocked again. On the contrary, we have observed and measured that the behavior of the fish is totally different. To better understand this behavior, Several fields of research are involved, ethologists and biologists to understand the behaviors of animals, physicists to define, analyze, and model the experiments, and finally, mathematicians to formulate this analysis. As we can see, passing through the aperture is an individual act of each fish which forces it to separate from the group. The smaller the size of the aperture, the larger the amount of fish accumulating in front of the opening. Thus, it will take longer for the fish to swim through the opening. However, fish do not get into contact, there is no collision, and each fish waits until the fish in front of it has passed through the opening before exiting in turn. Looking at the time distribution between two consecutive crossings, we can clearly deduce a statistical law. When the size of the aperture becomes comparable to the social distance, the number of fish passing through the opening per time unit drastically decreases. Quite remarkably, this relation obeys a Beverly law, initially established for bubbles exiting through an aperture. Here, in our particular case, the bubbles are fictitious and illustrates the social bubble surrounding a fish whose size is the social distance, LC. The notion of social distance also exists in humans, but fish seem to respect the rule even in panic situations. Understanding this behavior will not only make it easier to exit public spaces by imposing certain rules, but also ensure that certain robots navigating in a complex environment do not collide.